Hello, everybody. Please ignore this <laughs> and this. It is a mess. Uh, <laughs> so, um, yeah, guess who finally decided to download Pokemon Go yesterday? Yep, I have been fighting it for the last couple of weeks, but I finally gave in and I downloaded it yesterday and it was really cool because I went to the Astros game yesterday and they were doing this like whole Pokemon Go event. So there were like tons of Pokemon there and ton of, ton of Pokemon stops. And uh, yeah, I downloaded it yesterday and by the end of the day, I was already at level six. And uh, yeah, my sister and I went tracing through to go to a Pokestop. And here's the thing right now, Houston, we've been like 98, 99 degrees every day lately with a heat index of like 100, 109 degrees. So it's pretty dang hot outside. So um, yeah, we've not made the best decisions on when to go out like Pokemon hunting in the like three o'clock in the afternoon when it's the hottest. Um, but yeah, we have... Uh, been going and getting Pokemon and if anyone is interested I am team red which I believe is Valor I don't know but yeah but unfortunately it's just been too hot for me to take Millie so far Pokemon hunting and um, yeah I'm sure once it cools off in a little bit she will love all of the walks we go on as we go Pokemon hunting for it but I did I started with Charmander and I caught a Squirtle and a Bulbasaur yesterday at the game so that was pretty exciting uh, but today I'm pretty exhausted because my building's fire alarm went off at three o'clock this morning that was fun um, it seems that somebody decided to play a prank and pull the fire alarm on the building here at three in the morning and then ran off and did another buildings and um yeah so it woke me up and I remember like waking up so confused because I was like what is that sound and I'm like what is going on here and I was like oh someone's fire alarms going off and then I realized that's my buildings and I'm like what time is it so I look and it's three in the morning and I'm like thinking this has got to be for real like why would they be doing like a fire drill at three in the morning? They wouldn't. So um, yeah, had to grab my glasses so I could see and find shoes and get the dog and go outside. And it's three in the morning, I'm exhausted. I just wanna be asleep. I didn't go to bed till after midnight. So I'd only been in bed for like not even three hours. And my neighbor across the hall is afraid of dogs and I'm like coming out and she was like halfway down the stairs when she remembered her like door was open that she didn't close her apartment door so she was like going back to go get it and she was like freaking out of the dog and I had her like a really short leash and she was like make it shorter and I'm like she couldn't get more than like a foot away from me it was that short and I was just so frustrated because I'm like I want to be asleep and I'm awake at three in the morning for this stupid fire alarm that somebody thought was funny they like destroyed the little like pool switch thing for the fire alarm and it's very annoying. Um, and then like I said, they got another building. So we're like waiting outside and we're like, where's the fire department? Because a couple months ago we had an issue, but it was like nine o'clock in the morning on a Saturday. Somebody was moving and they mattress bumped the thing and it set it off. Um, so that wasn't as bad because it was like morning. So you had slept and stuff. And, um, yeah, so we're like waiting, we hear the fire truck come, but then it's like not there. And then we realized, oh, it's at another building. And so finally, like our apartment manager actually lives on site and he actually lives in my building. And, um, he was like, okay guys, it's a false alarm. Somebody tripped the thing. You can all go back to sleep now. So I was like, thank God. But then it took me a while to fall back asleep and then I had to get up early because my sister and I were having a sister day. We went to go see Bad Moms. So this was really funny. It was a lot better than we thought it was going to be. We thought it was just going to be one of those like silly party adult movies 
living their childhood but it was actually a really good movie and um it was very funny and jj watt was in it he was played the soccer coach and his character was hilarious totally different than his like normal self sorry the astros are playing <laughs> i'm watching kind of the game um but yeah then we went and caught some more pokemon but yeah i'm like i'm still learning this pokemon game but I, I caught a good number of Pokemon yesterday. My sister was actually kind of jealous of some of the Pokemon that I was able to catch at the game. And um, they had a lot. And there was like one Pokemon I know she'd been like, her and her husband had been like looking for for a long time. And they finally found it. And there were like a ton of those ones at the game. So, yeah. Anyway, I'm just waiting for the cooler months so I can go Pokemon hunting because there's like no Pokemon in my apartment, unfortunately. Like around the apartment complex, yes, I've gotten some Pokemon, but not like in my actual apartment. I think I've got like one, so. And it was like a Weedle, so it's nothing exciting. Anyway, I'm gonna go now. It is super hot, even though I have the AC on and I have the fan going on. It's just so dang hot. It is currently 93 degrees outside so there is that and uh yeah i hope you guys are staying cool if you're playing pokemon let me know Look, what team are you on did i choose the right team or did i not i think most people are well i actually don't even know so yeah let me know <laughs> all right bye i'm sorry this video was so over the place I'm just really tired like I said I did not get a lot of sleep last night and especially very interrupted sleep with the stupid fire all right not fire but fire okay bye <laughs>